Why is actually a very powerful question that we don't ask often enough. We always focus on what, when. Well, it's a favorite one of ours. Hello world and welcome to the vlog. This is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. And if you want to start reinventing, you really have to make time and make room for opportunities to ask yourself some serious questions and to analyze why you do what you do and why you believe what you believe. When? We love that question. That's a favorite one of ours because we're impatient. We don't really want to know why because one, it's probably our fault and two, we got to do something about it. More importantly, there are all these preconceptions and misconceptions in the back of our head. And challenging our preconceptions is really important because if you don't, you end up with something like the Holocaust. That is a really good example of a bunch of people believing a misconception together because somebody said they should. Next week, Israel celebrates its independence. And prior to that, there's some special dates that commemorate the fallen soldiers and the victims of the Holocaust. I saw a really cool thing on Instagram where they did these stories by a girl that's supposed to be living back in the 1940s. She starts seeing, so she's doing her regular Instagram thing until the Nazis get there and start oppressing the Jews, closing down schools and doing all this crazy stuff. And she's there to document it all. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description, so check it out. It's really well made. It really pulls you in. Uh, some emotional stuff happening there. In the midst of all the horror that happened during the Holocaust, there were people that asked themselves why. Why is what the government's telling me something that I should follow? Why should I believe this? Why is this the right thing? Why is this the only way? There were Germans during the war that went to extraordinary lengths to help the Jews out. They risked their life, they risked their family's life to, to help the Jews, to smuggle children out and to help people escape the concentration camp. So back to challenging our preconceptions. It's really important for us to ask why because there are so many parts of our life that we don't even realize how heavily influenced they are by something from the past, something that somewhere along the way we heard and we accepted as true without ever questioning it. The bigger the category, the bigger the misconception. That's why things like the Holocaust can happen. It's also the reason why there's so many different misconceptions about God, because God is one big subject that we simply cannot describe or understand correctly. No matter what your history with God has been, I am sure that you've been dealt some misconceptions. And it's really up to you whether you choose to continue believing those or you analyze them and ask yourself why you believe. If what you believe about God is correct, then you should know why you believe it and you should reinforce that truth. But if what you have believed about God is somebody else's preconception or prejudice, you really need to rethink that. <laughs>